Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Staten Rebeck here with Revolution Health and Performance, and today I wanted to talk to you briefly about GLP-1s. Medications aren't typically something that I dive too deep into as a physical therapist. However, I do feel like physios have a strong implication when it comes to patients that are taking GLP-1s. Um, so briefly, what is a GLP-1? It stands for a glucagon-like peptide. It's a receptor agonist, meaning these drugs target the receptors of the GLP, uh, the GLP receptors. They briefly help with regulating uh, sugars in the body. They help increase satiety, so they help you feel more full. And they do have a weight loss effect. So historically, these drugs have been used for people with diabetes to help regulate their blood sugar. However, more recently with these STEP trials, um, they have been used for weight loss. And they're very effective. Um, they help you lose weight. Um, one of the things to consider when you're taking a GLP-1 is that it doesn't necessarily discriminate between what type of weight you're losing. So as far as body composition goes, you do have a little bit of loss in lean muscle mass. Some studies indicate anywhere between 15 to 40% in lean muscle mass. Um, lean muscle mass doesn't always just mean muscle. Um, that's a big part of it, but it can be bone, organs, um, water that is stored in fat tissue, and then water itself. So when somebody that's obese um, and they're losing weight, they do have a small percentage of lean muscle mass that they lose. That's normal. Um, but these drugs, uh, again, indicate anywhere between 15 and 40% of lean muscle mass that is lost while on these. So what can you do um, when you're taking a GLP-1 to help offset this? Well, you can strength train or resistance train. Um, that, is a, that is one of the best things that you can do to help maintain your lean muscle mass. In fact, everybody that's on a GLP-1, I would strongly advise that you have some sort of resistance training program that you're doing to help you maintain your lean muscle mass. Uh, muscle mass is being shown in more and more research to be a critical component for longevity, even a better predictor than BMI. So particularly if you're of the aging population um, or even if you're a younger um, uh, person that's taking a GLP-1, I definitely think that you need to be strength training. Um, this is something that you can do on your own. You can contact a personal trainer or a physical therapist, but strength training needs to be part of your regimen if you are on a GLP-1.